not know, and others have forgotten just what a pivotal role New Orleans actually had when it came to the D Day invasion. And that contribution from thousands of New Orleanians came down to the ideas of just one man, Andrew Jackson Higgins. His idea for a shallow draft barge like boat helped to get soldiers and equipment on shore, a first of its kind, really. The Navy called them the Landing Craft Vehicle Personnel, or LCVP. The soldiers simply called them Higgins boats. Thousands of miles away from the war effort overseas in Europe, it was here, around the waters of New Orleans, where a crucial contribution was being made to secure victory for the largest amphibious invasion in history during World War II. Well, the Higgins boat was a game changer, really, in, um, in strategy, um, in what we were able to do in terms of amphibious landings. New Orleans was home to Higgins Industries, manufacturer of the Higgins boat, and the brainchild of Andrew Jackson Higgins, dubbed by President Dwight Eisenhower as the man who won the war for us. It was this vessel that gave the Allies a key advantage during D-Day, the ability to ferry soldiers, jeeps, and even tanks from ships to beaches something that had never been possible in the past. And certainly you could not have done those invasions without, without Higgins boats. Robert Wolfe enlisted just prior to the Normandy invasion. When these guys got out of the Higgins boats and they, they were wading, they were crawling, they were creeping, they were running, whatever they could do to get out of the fire that was coming at them. While Wolf wasn't on the beach that day, he agrees that this strategy not only helped to secure victory, but saved the lives of thousands. D-Day, I realize now, there were guys on both sides who were scared to death. But all they wanted to do was to protect themselves and not get killed. Well, 92% of the entire U.S. Navy fleet was designed by Higgins Industries. And of the nearly 13,000 Higgins vessels, nearly 9,000 of those were made right here in New Orleans.